And it's the type that can actually be applied as a, a pin or a brooch as well. So it's modular. Wear it around your neck or on your body. Welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a haul and this is extremely different because I don't know when the last time was I've even done a haul. So we're just gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. But I actually have two separate hauls. I'm just gonna combine them into this one video. I went to a flea market at one point. I didn't film at all, but I did get quite a bit of stuff. Actually, I have a little bit of footage. I might intermingle it in, I don't know. But then secondly, I went to this private estate where I, this woman, she had all the stuff. And I said, like, well, give me some. So I bought some of her stuff from her. And I think it was actually a neighbor that was helping out uh, somebody that had a house that, you know, how that goes. So yeah, actually also in this hall, are the couple things behind me, including that Fenton, that was an amazing price. So I'll get to that too, but let's start off with the flea market. I actually found this little lithographic print. I love picking up these prints. They are so cool. And usually they're from like the 30s, 40s era a little bit into the 50s. This one has the metal frame around it and it's the cottage. And I just love that. It's a wonderful size and it's it's just nice. The colors are great. Greens and blues with a little bit of red and it's a, a great little size there. So I picked that up. That was a dollar at a flea market. Sometimes you can get these deals, people that don't really know, but that was fantastic. So I was happy to get that one. Also the sugar dish here. And this is Otagiri Mercantile Company. Otagiri, very nice pottery company. And I paid $3 for this one. I have a spare spoon. I'll just stick it in there. That's how that's gonna work. So nobody has to worry at all. And it's a sugar dish. And it is marked on the bottom with the OMC sticker. Otagiri Mercantile Company. I'm still waking up, I swear. I swear. So I've got my <sighs> Jurassic Park mug with the coffee. I have a vlog channel, apparently. I don't, <laughs> I'm trying to put another vlog on there. So I did actually go to Universal a few times here in, uh, down in Orlando. I bought this mug one of the trips. So if you wanna follow some of my stuff, I went to Italy, of course, I've got vlogs on that too. There's a lot to get through, Ugh, darn it. I already bought a ton of stuff. And as you know, I'm doing a haul video. It's a little bit windy. And so it wouldn't have been the best picture quality. Plus, honestly, this morning, I just did not feel like filming out here, except I am right now. But overall, I bought all these things without showing them. That's why there is a haul video here. Gold bond, okay. <laughs> I picked this up here. And this, I believe, is Joseph Original. Fairly, fairly certain. Joseph Original did some of these like little dogs with the Christmas hats on them. Different dogs. This one we have, it's very nice. It's like, I don't know, a Westing, Westing house. It's like a West more, oh, screw it. It's a dog, that's a dog. West Highland Terrier is what I was trying to think of. Okay, I picked up this little horseshoe. I think that was like a dollar or something. It's marked victory on the side of it. But that was pretty neat. So it says victory. It's like this nice metal horseshoe. Just neat. I, I couldn't help myself. One particular booth had a whole bunch of stuff in it and that's where some of the stuff came from, quite a lot of it. Like this, this says medicine plates, new world trading as a frog. Kind of also has like an Egyptian motif on it, although it's Mm, probably from the 80s or the 90s, but it's also enamel too in the center with the green and the blue, that blue green color. That was nice. I forget what green sticker meant. This could have been two or three dollars. Can't imagine much more. That same booth, I picked this up. This is written, well, something England, but it's just a cute little gold bird. Stuff kind of like this. I need to have another pick two sale. It's been a minute since I've had a pick two sale where things are just, you know, smaller in stature and we, we kind of group things together for a price, but it's a sh salt shaker. Comes right out of its mouth. Just thought it was fun. Also from that particular booth, I got the pair of elephants here and these are crystal, they're Lennox. Lennox crystal salt and pepper shakers. And that was a great deal. I believe these were $5. 
either four or five, but I got the pair and they're in very nice shape. And both of them actually has the trunks up. I was happy to get those at the flea market. So those were nice. I'm saving my favorite flea market find until like last year. There's some jewelry though. And this one is very cool. I've been enjoying picking jewelry up lately. Never thought I'd say that, but look at this. This one of the unicorn. Isn't that stunning? It has little purple rhinestones and then the I mean, that is, that's quite amazing. I forget how much this one was. It was under, it was like maybe $5 or less though. That I was really pleased with. And the other brooch that I picked up in that same little vendor was this one. Yeah, I might have filmed this part of, a, part of the video. Ah, look at that with the flower. Another one with purple stones. I liked both of these specifically because of the purple. I, I don't, or I mean, I don't get around much, but with the jewelry, I'm just dabbling in it now, but I feel like purple is a little less common than blue, red, you know, with, with the stones. I also got this. This is known as cloisonne. Cloisonne, yeah. I, for some reason I had Moriagi in my head for a split second, wrong. Cloisonne, C-L-O-I, oh, Cloisonne. <laughs> For a second, I thought I could remember. <laughs> it's Cloisonne, and it actually means just cells. It's divided with metal wire, and so you can see here, there's a lot of enameling on it. This particular piece is made in China, and it's marked on the bottom, but it has lots of enameling all done here. Traditionally, it's brass usually, and then also wires, thin wire that makes up the individual sections here. And then they go back and they fill those sections in with the enameling. A great example of that is like little, and um, the metal enamel pins that have like the, the, the patterns and things on them, like Disney pins and stuff. It's because they uh, are stamped with the metal. I think in that case they are stamped and then backfilled with the, the enamel. Traditionally with the cloisonne, you could have like a metal back, like a tin foil type thing. And then your metal wire that's applied, you know, by hand and then filled. So it's more tedious than just machine stamping a piece of metal. I also got this magnifying glass. I thought this was really fun. This little fish magnifying glass. And I think it was like a dollar or two that is very, very cool. I'm happy that I picked that one up. That was, that was a fun find, the fish. And then kind of in the same nautical vein is the bookend, just one bookend. And there's nothing wrong with just one bookend. Maybe you just have one book. I, <laughs> you could put this against a wall or something too. There's a lot of, or actually a door knocker, door thing that keeps your door from flying around, a door holder thing. I don't know what they're called. And then doorstop. <laughs> and then I picked up this tree. This is from the nineties or so, but it is this uh, iridescent tree. And I'm thinking maybe Christmas in July or just wait until Christmas time. So this one here, very pretty. With, and there's like little bears on it and stuff too. Typical eighties, nineties with little bears. But everything is cyclical and that includes Christmas. And I think Maybe that like, you know, those little Christmas bears and things are, if they're not already back, they might as well come back eventually. So also this carved box, carved wood box. And this was super fun. It's great. It looks beautiful. I don't remember how much it was. Actually, let's see, green sticker. I'm thinking it was like $5. I, no, no, you can't be. Maybe four, three or $4 but it's cool. It has all the little carved details on it. The closures there, beautiful. What is that? There's some men. There are some men. Well, that's one guy actually. One guy. So it's kind of um, Chinese in nature, a little bit. 
Okay, and then my favorite thing from like that trip, and then we'll go on to the private pick. It was this jewelry here. This cat, I mean, I, I did record footage of it, but it's this cat with the little stone eyes. Isn't that cool? The little eyes move and oh, everything. Cool. It's a nice necklace with the, the brooch back. Uh, it's, so it's adaptable. It's three bucks. Three dollars. So thinking? cool. Huh. It's interesting because as I was studying there looking through that jewelry, I saw the the cat brooch, which was also a necklace. And he said initially three dollars. And I was gonna get it obviously. And as I stood there and I was looking for more, he he came back over and said, actually it could, it's two dollars. And I'm like, oh okay. And it's the type that can actually be applied as a a pin or a brooch as well. So it's modular, wear it around your neck or on your body. But yeah, I like that one a lot. But this is the eyes. That was especially fun. I think it was like $2. That is the find of the trip, in my opinion. Um, actually, the other pieces of jewelry too, and some of the other pieces. But that was one particular trip. Now, this other one, I did not film at all because it was weird. It was just uh, one of those things where You've got like three people staring at you and they're wondering what you're going to buy. So I bought a few things there. I should have looked that deer up. Dang it. All right. Well, <laughs> it's very cool. Look at this pottery deer. This one is stunning. Now, when I got it, it had a layer of grease on it. I washed it off. Yay me. And so it says Gold Schreier Everlast Corp. It seems to me to be pretty great, pretty good quality. You can tell there's it's, it's stamped. It's also incised. To me, that's kind of an indicator that it's a little bit better quality whenever they incised it like that. I don't know. And then, but beyond that, you can also just look at the, the way that it's painted. The airbrushing is done really well on it. It's very nice. The quality is there. So I would imagine this would do pretty decently, but I haven't looked it up. So I'm curious about that one. As far as price is concerned, I th I think it was like $3. This was one of those types where they're just like, I don't know. I actually ended up paying them a little bit more for everything just to round it up for simplicity's sake. But, cause I think I got a good deal regardless. So the next item, this is just an incidental thing. I had to get it. It's a little geode with the, with the, with the little moose or whatever in there. Thought that was fun. I mean, if you want to assign a value that I paid, it was like a buck, like a dollar. A buck, <laughs> but it's a moose. All right, and then also Silver Springs, little coasters, new in package with the turtles. Just fun, I just had to get that. I liked it. Look at this though. Now this was another really great find. This has the applied, the applied uh, porcelain ceramic to the glass and the painted enameling. So it's a nice cranberry type dish here. Sort of like a brandy sniffer, snifter, <laughs> and it's footed, but it's a great one. And I, you could put, I would imagine to put like plants on it or something. That would be much better in my opinion. But that was a great find. I think this was a like $5 if you want to think of it that way. It's hard to remember because everything was sort of jumbled up towards the end in my mind. This is nice. It reminds me of Morton Pottery. It's this pink deer with the red eyes. I don't know specifically offhand who did this one, but Morton Pottery seems like very similar to this. So it's a nice pink deer with the long legs. There is one like little thing right there, but I mean, it was a dollar basically. Again, it was also covered in grease and I washed it. But it, um, you know, it's very nice. I like it. I did get one paperweight with the orange, this one. So I was, I was happy to get that one. It's a nice cute guy for like, I don't know, probably $2 or something. Now, the stuff that's behind me, also from the same estate, from the same people. I got this artwork and I happen to, I just, it's really pretty. So this one here, isn't that great? This is, this is painted on board. So it's oil on board and I just think that's remarkable. 
the paint job on that. And here's a close up of it as you can see. This is an eight by 10 and then it is framed also with this wood frame. So that happens to be really cool. I think this was mm, like $5 which is outstanding really for this original art. And I, the colors are very much a vibe. I think they're very great. I like this aesthetic. <laughs> so I think I'll do well with that one. That'll eventually, much like everything, will be on a live sale eventually. So got that. Then also I picked up these little, little Carler guys here. They're marked made in Japan. Um, they're, they were like a dollar for the pair. So I got a pair of those. There's sort of that resin material, that kind of like composite type. So that was a no brainer for me. Had to get those as well. And then I did get two boxes of ornaments here. Uh, one is older than the other and you can kind of tell, but I, I just got them both. Isn't that neat? Look at the colors on that. So this old, these old ornaments, they have, you know, signs of wear and age to them and the box looks like crap, but they're neat. And then also, these are not as old, but I like that they were blown glass and then they're also marked European Craftsman. And I just thought they were vintage enough and they looked cool enough that I wanted to get them. So I mean, probably still it's like $3 for, for both of those. Now, we only have a couple more things to go here, but this is a very good haul, I must admit. I mean, I think, Okay, so I've picked up two other pieces of art from the same house. Now these are not printed, or these are printed, they're not actually like original, but they're this tinsel art, the foil, and I love these. I'm, I would most likely sell them as a set. So this one has the flamingos in the background, the little birds up front here, like this toucan type bird. Look at all those up top, the flowers. And that's just really fun. Like this is, this is so cool. I like that a lot. There's butterflies in the foreground. There's a waterfall in the background, way back there I'm noticing. And then yes, all the flamingos going across the horizon. It's just a very nice, very nice art piece. So there's that one. And I like that it catches the light. And the other one that goes with it is these with the birds. Again, all of these things will eventually be on a live sale, a Friday night live sale. You can find those on Real Nifty Vintage Live. It's my same channel name as here, but then the word live after it, it's a separate channel. And that's where I go live for selling these things, Friday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. And then here's the match for it. It's this other like, with the parrots. And you know, it's just beautiful, tropical. And there's something about the foil art, the tinsel art that I like so much. It's just obviously that it glistens whenever the light hits it. It's so much more dynamic. All right, so I guess I saved like the best thing for last, except for which you can barely see this light here. I did put this on Instagram. I'll show it in a second, but it's the standing floor lamp with the lotus flowers. Oh, amazing. But this here is a Fenton. It's a two piece set right here. However, I think originally these are two separate pieces. Together they look cool, but this is a swung vase. It's milk glass, it's hobnail, and it swings up to the top like this with all the nice little finger points. Hobnail there, and it's footed. Uh, it doesn't have the sticker on it anymore, but it's obviously Fenton, and it's milk glass. It's very cool, it's a nice size. I was initially going to sell them as like a pair, but now I'm, I don't think so anymore. So I'm most like, I might sell this one by itself. And then what is very cool, the selling, the selling reason I wanted to buy these, by the way, for $10 was because of the size of this, of this piece. Look how big that is. It's a nice wide platter. This isn't common to me. I haven't seen it. So I, I wanted to get it. I think what this is, is like the bottom of a chip and dip bowl set. And so you just have like a shorter kind of a little piece up here for the dip. That's what I think it is. And it is scalloped on the edges. Together it worked really nicely though because the, the hole kind of fits nice there, you see? It works, 
but I would imagine a lot of Fenton pieces with a similar circumference could work there. So I'm probably gonna sell them individually. I think that would be the smartest thing to do. And then you can, you know, put a smaller vase here, put some candy in it, put fruit around it. I don't know, there's lots of ideas. But this is also in the uh, hobnail and it has the scallop edges. Those nice little, it's like frilly lace. Okay, so the thing that I bought for myself, I guess, out of every, out, out of all of this, was an impulse buy. It's this lotus flower, mid-century in era. Mid-century is becoming, you know, what, 30 years almost, it seems like, <laughs> like with, whenever you start it. The, but it's this gold and white, look at that. So it goes up, it's one, two, and then a third flower up top there. It's these lotus flowers. And they go, um, you could do one at a time, or all three are now lit up. And there's one at the top too. But that was cool for $10. I mean, that's stupid. She said, do you want this? I'm like, mm. she's like, it's $10. I'm like, okay. <laughs> didn't have, nothing really had prices on it. That was the other thing I didn't mention. Nothing had prices on it, but the prices were just inarguable. Like I just had to do every single thing. You should have saw me. So it was quite good. Um, I think I got through everything specifically. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a great sale. I, or actually two separate sales and I'm very pleased. So like I said, these will eventually be on Real Nifty Vintage Live. There is a link in the description, I believe. Yes, there's a link in the description which is just below this video. You can click more or expand or whatever it says to see the links and all that stuff. It's where I, you know, the description. And so, yeah, I also have it linked on the main page of this channel and along with my vlog channel to whatever that is. So yeah, it was very nice. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. I did write a book. If you want to do reselling in any fashion, whether it's an antique mall or a thrift store, or I mean, uh, or um, an antique mall or online, eBay, Etsy, whatever. So that's on Amazon, also linked in the description. I have a reselling planner, which is nice. You can kind of outline your life there if you don't, if you've got too much going on. So it's a planner and it's right here. So I'm remembering it. It's this planner here that I use intermittently. <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So anyways, I'll wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.